BPA, king of TV bowling. Brought to you by Pepsi, the ultimate taste. Jeff Weiler, Eastgate Auto Mall, your one-stop shopping center. Affordable chiropractic, the official BPA back care specialist. And by Pizza Hut, home of the $10.99 Bigfoot Pizza. Good morning, Tri-State. Week number seven, we are going to bring to you the LaRue qualifiers. LaRue's a great place, and uh, we've got a couple of bowlers in match number one, 189 and under division. Jen, that uh, haven't been around yet. Yeah, we're going to check out, first of all, Daryl Doan. He bowls out in the Delhi area, one of my old stomping grounds. Right. And he uh, is a fine bowler, bowling Del Fair, and he's going to go against Joe Stamper from the east side of town. Joe uh, is going to create a little east side, west side battle for us this morning, and I am kind of looking forward to it. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, too. And you can look forward to it in just about two and two. We'll be back. Over America, celebrities have been smuggling Ribs King barbecue sauce. Now it's being smuggled to your neck of the woods, so you can enjoy Ribs King sauce's full rich flavor. No bitter burning, no cooked out taste. With Ribs King barbecue sauce, you pour it on hot to fire up the flavor, just like they do at America's number one Ribs restaurant, world famous Ribs King. Hey, watch out, Ribs King is addictive. Ribs King barbecue sauce, pour it on hot to fire up the flavor. Time for a break? Try bowling today. Get a little exercise. Meet people. Have some fun. It's all ready and waiting. Balls, shoes, and free instruction. For competition, there's a league for everyone. Best of all, bowling is a great value. Hey, lanes are available now. What are you waiting for? Get into the action. Bowling. It all adds up. Sign up for Pizza Hut Pepsi Beer Leagues, forming now at your local BPA lanes. Harrison Bowl is proud to host the 23rd annual 369 Ladies Handicap Tournament. Harrison's fun tournament, but more than fun, with a $2,000 first place handicap prize and all kinds of special cash prizes for handicap and scratch bowlers. Start qualifying May 7th and any or every weekend through June 25th. But call now for more information and reservations. Call Harrison Bowl, 367-6181. Harrison Bowl, 367 367-6181. <laughs> there she is, rolling into old Warrensburg, Indiana. Durban Bowl. Yeah, real activity down here after a while, but we are watching the LaRue qualifiers. Daryl Dunn, age 27. Like I said, bowls out at Del Fair Lanes in Del High Township. Bowling awfully nice score to qualify, Jen. I, I don't have that in front of me. What was it? Oh, 641. 641. Nope, oh, sorry. Joe Stanford. I saw, told you I didn't have it in front of me. <laughs> it was comparable, though. It was in the 640 range also. And for the 189 and under division, that's uh, it's remarkable. Very difficult spare to open the show with, and he... Accomplishes by only taking two of the five, so uh, a seven-pin count in the first frame is not the way you want to start. Joe Stamper, age 32. As we said, east side of town, bowls at Eastgate Lanes. Of course, this is our LaRue qualifier. And Joe bowled 641. See, I knew I'd get that worked in there somewhere. One, <laughs> 188 average, and uh, first time on television, and so far... Most of our 189 and under people that have been on the show for the first time have been a pretty credible showing. Indeed, another person that I've seen time and time again is Richard Harness. He's been like in third and fourth place every week just to miss making the show. His grandmother, Lori Harness, fine, fine lady. I don't know her personally, but if you say so, oh, I, she's be great. I believe her. This gentleman puts a little bit of oomph on the ball. Yeah, he does. And gets that trip on that little 10 there. A little kick out of the gutter. Uh-huh. He, uh, he twirls it up pretty good. Big strong. That, look at the size of that forearm. <laughs> Holy cow. But don't let that intimidate you, everyone. This sport is for everyone. Little people, big people, tall, short, 
male, female. We encompass it all. And if you're really bad, we've got bumpers we stick in the gutters. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still going to score well. Uh, his ball just not turning over at the pocket, uh, leaving the 5'10". Tough to make. Uh, there we go, 651. We knew it was around here somewhere. That's right. First TV appearance, as we said. And uh, it seems like he did well in the 1993 uh, Scotch Doubles Tournament. Indeed. Let's see if we can pick this one up. It'll really help his confidence to make this better. Ooh, just misses just to missing, the left. Just missing, yes. Five-step approach for Daryl Dunn. Full fingertip. He has a coach, his dad, Charles. Well, Charles needs to give him some advice right now as to how to get a little extra roll on the ball. Let's see if he can pick this one up. Come on, get started. I always like to see our first-time bowlers get off to a, a little better start than open, open, because it will play with your mind. Yeah, but then sometimes you can just get loose from that. Sometimes you just figure, oh, well, what the heck? Just let it go. And, and let, get it, a let it go, he did. <laughs> Indeed. A trip six spin be the right-hander's trip four, and that's where the ball does, in fact, go high. But he trips out the uh, six pin late. Here we go with Joe. Look at him. Just manhandle that bowling ball. Indeed. All deflection. A lot of deflection. Leaving the 8-pin. Almost the dreaded 8-10 pocket split. Nearly unmakeable. Joe has two children, J.C. and Stephanie. J.C.'s 8 and Stephanie's 6 years old. That's a nice age for kids, isn't it? I mean, any age is great, but I that think, especially is a really nice I one. think 19 and 20 when they move out of the house is <laughs> a nicer age. Married his wife, Donna. Married for 11 years. All right. Joe leading by 25 at this point. And very intently looking at his target. Gets through that ball a lot better. Excellent shot. Very nice. Suburban lanes. He also bowls out of his high average is 188, low average 184. The powerful release. Joe Stamper, look at that, down at the line, stays down for a big man, gets through the ball with a lot of revolutions. Watch this ball, no deflection. Uh-uh. Every pin in the pit. Just Going not a rolling bit over. Got to go around the ball or hit the ball a little bit more at the bottom of the swing, Jen. Or move on the lane and make your arm swing go more direct. Indeed. Our apologies to Daryl. His uh, father, Charles, that we were talking about before, passed away in 1989. And I know, indeed, um, what a great thing that is to have your father coach you. Yeah, but with us in spirit, I'm sure. You bet. Give him a swift kick right now and get him lined up. That's what, uh, what he needs. And uh, bringing back, trying to bring back the 3-5-6 is no easy task either, but he accomplishes that one. Durban Bull really looks fantastic this morning. This is really a nice place. Gary Rolfus does a great job keeping everything nice and clean. I just noticed how sparkly shiny this place really is. Well, thank you. I dusted last night. Did you? I didn't think anyone would notice. Man, nice job. <laughs> and it's nice of them to have um, the lit up score masking unit things, three, six, ten, you know, so we yes. know what pins are left. Yeah, well, <laughs> to, I, well, I don't know about you, but I learned those a few years ago. Did you? Yeah. I'm still working on it. Yeah, well, I understand. Now, <laughs> here, you call this one. What do you, what do you leave that to? Wait a minute. i got to wait for the lights to come up. Let's see. Wait a minute. Here goes the sweep, the three, five. There we go. Even have the little arrow to show you how to make it. That can come in yeah, handy. Yeah, well, I don't believe all that. See? Yeah. Between the three and five, that's what it says. Yeah, well, I got some swampland in Florida I want to talk to you about as soon as the show's over, okay? All righty. Oh, looks like the lanes are just a little bit tight this morning, and he's trying to swing it and let it come in and hook, and it's just not quite making the move that it needs to make. 
In match number two and three, we have some bowlers that will be able to crank it up a little bit more from the left side, and uh, they probably... Yeah. You talk about a horrible <laughs> shot. What, He's what even a shaking mess. That was. He's shaking his head. What the heck happened? Yeah. All right, nice smile. You better smile. We show you the good ones. We're going to show you one of the worst, and he would admit the same. Off balance, balls off the ball, barely touching the head pin. <laughs> That's a head pin going to the wall and taking out the three pin. I love it. Well, he'll love it if he doubles here. Oh, great. Oh, and then he puts it in the pocket and leaves a solid ten. Well, that was, Go figure. Believe it or not, that was for a double, Janet. And then, <laughs> and then he crushes one and leaves a ten. Justice, oh, right? boy. Justice is served. Hmm. And then going by and missing the ten, shaking his head. Well, we will be back. Uh, hopefully no misses here. Stay with us. Don't go away. We've got a lot more of game number one to watch. King of TV Bowling. We'll see you in a minute. Daryl trails by 46. Half a game to go. A lot of ground to make up. Still consistently going wide, folks. If you're doing anything at home and it's not working, try something else. Even if it's wrong, it can't get any worse. You 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 can't just consistently stay in the same place and ho hope the lanes adjust to your ball. That just typically doesn't happen. Dave, you know what's really cool about um, Daryl's qualifying score, 651, is the score that was posted on the board was 650. So he battered it by one pick to make the show. That's pretty neat. Whoa! Well, that's pretty neat for for him, but for the standby, <laughs> not, not, too, so great. not too good. <laughs> this is not the easiest pair to make, uh, but he does it quite well. Not the way I'd recommend, but uh, you're taking a chance by taking that much of the head pin. A lot of times you can leave the back pin, in this case the nine. Uh, you actually want to cover more of the head pin with the ball and let it clean off to the to the right and consistently left. He's, he's just really lost on this condition and uh, uh, hasn't made a ball change and from what I can see hasn't made a line change yet. Well, you know, that's what I was going to say because the resin balls today, it seems like when they're really slick like this, they just don't react. So I like to go to a urethane ball that kind of eats through the oil a little right. better Exactly. when they're this tight. Uh, an equipment change, but again... And he's it, throwing a Turbo X, that's resin ball. At, at this level, though, that's what you don't know. Those yeah. are the kind of things you don't know yet. See, that's the trouble in not taking more of the head pin to the right and then letting the ball go through to take the three and the three take out the nine. A couple of ways to chop that. Up. And, and, of course, I want to... Uh, comment that uh, Joe with a 38 pin lead this match won by any means yet and he's not doing it in, in, in the most pretty fashion but mm -hmm. uh, he is commanding the lead and uh, uh, at this pace he's 48 pins up as our Pepsi BPA scoreboard will show you speaking of Pepsi uh, fantastic sponsor fantastic drink We've got it. Uh, matter of fact, we went through a lot of bottles of it last night. We had a little party over at the house. Mm -hmm. um, and it cleans up out of the rug well. Does it? Yeah, I found Great. That, yeah, we found it last night. It doesn't stain. <laughs> I understand uh, your son had a birthday party. Is yeah, that how it went? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And about midnight, I said night-night and went to bed myself. But yeah. uh, uh, Pepsi, just a fantastic sponsor. Jeff Weiler, uh, what more can we say about uh he and his Eastgate uh, people uh, bringing us uh, the car every week. And, and great deals. And great deals, right, <laughs> as, as several of us have found out. Uh -huh. uh, Hudipole with their uh, typical products that uh, we've been using and approaching uh, for years. This is a great shot. Th great shot in the truck, guys. Sure Ball is. coming right into your living room, folks. And, <laughs> and uh, look out. Ah. I can see now 20 people bailed out of their lazy boys <laughs> or something, right? Trails by 49 pins and with very, very little paper yet to go. Whoa, now that, that was nice. Great shot, great shot. His first really good shot of the match. Good footwork, 
should use a little more heel to toe for action and that little hop you got to get rid of that that takes away from some of the leverage just getting the five pin but sending it hard enough to the right to take out the ten and a scalp behind in case anything was left right beautiful also at the party last night along with some of their uh, uh, wonderful new tea products that uh, we've been uh, enjoying heck yeah the trade winds yeah. this stuff is great we, we've coated about everything we could possibly coat with the ribs king sauce oh yeah and uh and mike sells uh, potato chips were on hand so i tell you what when you have a party we've got the sponsors that can take care of you I wonder if there's any clue there. Watch this shot, ladies and gentlemen. Head pin to the wall, and we've got a domino effect for a strike. For a double. Joe counteracts with one of his own. And like we said, it uh, it may not be pretty, but it's going to be a win. And uh, both players with strikes up in the uh, ninth frame. Uh, 39 pins in the... Uh, rears uh, with one frame to go is, is just not enough time. All he needs is one pin to, to win the game. And, uh, well, there's the one pin. <laughs> all but one. Oh, yeah, all but one. Yeah. You're right. Some other high qualifiers this week, Chris McIntosh, Armin Dina, Dino, and Roger Zimmerman. All in the 650 down to 620 range. Some great bowling. Great bowling uh, in this division all year, and uh, it just goes to show the depth of the talent in Cincinnati. We've known and talked about it for 29 years how how good the really good bowlers are. Well, <laughs> our lower average bowlers aren't too shabby either. I always think when you get to like the 180 range, you're home free. If you really work at it, you can get to 200 because when you shoot 180, you prove that you can make spares, and that's the key. That's true. And then you work on your pace, and you try to string a couple of strikes together, <laughs> and then you can do things like collect a check at the end of King of Bowling uh -huh. for uh, several C notes, at least enough to buy a round. Five. <laughs> I mean, right. not rounds. Five. <laughs> Five I was going to say, wow, <laughs> price of things have really gone, gone up. up. Daryl, um, when he won his Strokers tournament, won it with Tony or Waddle. The best Stone can do at this point is 178, and uh, he looks like he wants to accomplish that and show the people at home that he can strike, and uh, st strike he can. And if I had to guess, he wished he could start the match over. Absolutely, but this match is over, and uh, Joe Stamper is our winner in the 189 and under division. And Joe is the winner. 196 is enough to win 500 beanies in the 189 and under division. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with match number two.